Good evening, everyone. My name is Someshwar. I welcome all of you on behalf of our Crafting Organization to Yoga Vashishta Evening Session. Today we are on day 77. Namaste, my Someshwar. Aap sabhi ka Art Crafting Sansta ki taraf se Yoga Vashishta ke is Sayan Kal ki satra mein swagat karta hu. Aaj ham log 77ve session pe pahunch chuke hain. Roj ki tarah aaj ka session bhi ham log teen baar Omkar se shuru karenge. Aaj ham log जो उद्दालक है उन्होंने अपने विचारों से ही किस तरह से वो विचार मग्न होके ध्यान मग्न होके उद्दालक का जो मेडिटेशन है उसको भी हम लोग आज देखेंगे भी और साथ में इस मेडिटेशन को हम लोग करेंगे भी टुडे वी विल बी लुकिंग एट हाउ डज उद्दालका हैज कंटिन्यू हिज जर्नी टुवर्ड्स रियलाइजेशन सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन सेल्फ नॉलेज बाय द वे ऑफ मेडिटेटिंग he himself started meditating and started guiding his own mind so we will be doing that meditation uddhalaka's meditation also today before that let's all close our eyes and we will chant om three times and continue with the session aankhe band kar le aaram se baith jaye reed ki haddi ko seedha kar le gardan seedhi shoulders relaxed Let's sit comfortably, spine erect, shoulders relaxed, neck straight. Let's bring back our attention to our breath. Ek sadharan saans andar le. Aur chhod de. एक गहरे लंबी सांस अंदर ले एंड लेट गो कंप्लीटली ड्रॉप ऑल योर पास्ट एंड कम बैक टू द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट दिस प्रेजेंट मोमेंट इज न्यू लेट अस वेलकम दिस प्रेजेंट मोमेंट बाय चांटिंग Om three times. Om. Om. अवेकन द डिविटी विद इन गुरु का आवाहन कर ले Let us express our gratitude towards the divinity. Guru Vandana Karle. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, 
गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री श्री गुरव नम लेटस प्रे टू द डिविनिटी गुरु से प्रार्थना कर ले whatever the words that we speak or come out of our mouth whatever the thoughts that over onto our mind whatever the actions that happens and the power of discrimination arise in our intellect the impressions that are getting created on our memory if they are and if still there is an iota of that i i me me let die be and all this inspired by the master alone divine alone pray like this we the people walking on the path of liberation mukti moksha we experience that mukti moksha right now this moment or even if you are already free let this remaining life and if we have to come back here again with some purpose to express our gratitude to serve the humanity or to spread this knowledge to uplift other individuals let thy be inspired by the master alone feel the presence of the master and the divine within and outside slowly and gradually you may open your eyes dheere dheere apni pyari si aankhe khol sakte ho jai gade so all our zoom participant all our youtube viewers and all our facebook viewers you all are welcome to this session aap sabhi ka bhi is satra mein swagat hai let us continue with the session uh, we have looked upon in the past two episodes that how this uddhalaka who is walking on this path this journey come across various obstacles on this path and still he doesn't reach where he wanted to reach we also seen that which are all the ways various solutions various upayas which have been told in the yoga shastra also in other scriptures and by our gurudev art of living way jeevan jine ki kala we have looked upon that in the obstacles as well as the episode in last two episodes now when he come across all these things he leaves the he is sitting below the tree now he leaves that place because he is thoroughly confused now and uh, he did not get that peace of mind whatever he wanted to achieve he could not sustain that and with that confused mind he just left that place and he start wandering here and there in the forest in the mountains he is going here and there and one fine day while walking like this he looks at one cave no the cave is found to him and um, in that cave he goes inside and he realizes oh this is a very very quiet place nobody is coming here hmm? there is there are no birds there are no animals that will come and disturb me i'll be safe here and considering all this favorable situation for the meditation he just prepare the so bed or there of the grass and all that putting all this thing together and then he sits there and now he start contemplating so that is where he sit and meditate um it doesn't even happen at the level of meditation it is just happening at the level of he takes himself to the level of mind and then now in the mind at the level of mind he is now contemplating he is now advising his own mind hmm? what we do in meditation we go through all those koshas no 
we go to uh, we observe the annamai kosha the outer surroundings we go to the level of pranamai kosha then we observe your body your breath then we enter into the manomai kosha that is at the level of mind we observe our thoughts and then we accept that we enter into the vigyanamai kosha that is the level of feelings and once we accept that also we enter into the anandamai kosha that is the bliss no that is all the journey but in this journey that what we are going to do today along with vardhalaka will be moving through annamai kosha to pranamai kosha and we'll come back at the manomai kosha and we'll take a pause there and then we'll see at the manomai kosha what vardhalaka is doing with himself hmm? so we can call this as a contemplation of the mind so we do not call that as a meditation hmm? so vardhalaka is there not fully meditation but at the level of mind he is still contemplating hmm? so let us do that uh, now and then we'll see we'll discuss it in detail what has happened so let's all close our eyes aram se baith jaye sit comfortably your spine erect read ki haddi seedhi kar le hands on your thighs open to the sky you are ready to receive the knowledge you are ready to feel the bliss direct from the divine relax your shoulders let's take our attention to our surroundings listen to all the sounds carefully the sound of traffic fan somebody is talking around whatever sounds that you are able to listen listen to them carefully the kids are giggling become one with those sound take a deep breath in as you breathe out accept all this sound let us bring back our attention to our body this body is a beautiful gift by the divine to us let us honor and respect this body let's take our attention to our right foot right knee right thigh and hip left foot left knee left thigh and hip and the whole right leg and the whole left leg let's take our attention to our genitals abdomen stomach and the navel region breathe in and let go
Let us take our attention to our chest. Right arm and the right shoulder. Left arm and the left shoulder. Let's bring our attention to our throat. To our face. And the top of your head. And the whole body. And the whole body. Take a deep breath in and as you breathe out with honor, respect, accept this body as a divine gift. Let's take our attention to our breath. Observe the flow of breath. Every incoming breath energized our body. Breath in. And with a gentle smile on your face, breathe out. Every outgoing breath relaxes our body, our mind. Take one more deep breath. And as you breathe out, relax more and more. Let go of Let's take our attention to our mind. We have assumed the form of Uddhalaka now. Now, as the Uddhalaka contemplated, advise his own mind, we will advise our own mind. Breathe in. And let go. Take a deep breath in and chant Om. Om.
whole little mind why do you behave like a fool keep swandering here and there for no reason can't you sit and relax at one place living behind all your efforts don't you get tired of all these activities and wants to settle down in peace in your own self why do you keep running after this poisonous tendencies of your five senses and sit calm and experience the nectar of your peace with your soul your attention goes everywhere but i really wonder why does your attention does not go to that self samadhi that meditative state oh mind these tendencies of your five senses are pulling you down it's not allowing you to settle at the peace oh mind just like the deer by listening to the melodious voice of the hunter gets attracted towards it and gets trapped in the trap set by the hunter you don't get entangled in the sense of hearing and reading yourself oh mind just like that male elephant runs after the tent female elephant and falls into the trap set by the hunter you do not run after the sense of pleasure of touch and spend all your energy in that completely drowning yourself oh mind just like that mo 
runs after towards the light, candle, fire, and burn itself. You don't get caught up in the beauty of this sight of sense. This world appears to be so beautiful. How long will you look at it? How long will you get attracted towards the external beauty? Is just an illusion, just a Maya. Oh, my dear mind, just like that big fish in the lake. runs after catching the food or the smaller fish which is hooked on the trap. With the intention of eating that smaller fish gets hooked into the trap set by the fisherman. You don't run after the sense of test. which makes you keep on eating, 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 running after that. It doesn't bring you a great joy after some time, but still just for the sake of test, you keep on eating. It. Oh, mine, just like the bumblebee which gets attracted by the smell of the lotus and then gets trapped in it. You don't get trapped in the sense of this smell. Oh, mine. With arising the power of discrimination that Viveka, with that awareness of myself, any way you are going to be destroyed. Why am I even putting an effort that something which will not exist to advise that? Why am I wasting my energy in advising you? Anyway, you will not be there now. I do not see any relation between you and what I am. I try to see you here and there, but I do not find any place where you could exist. So when your presence itself is not there, why should I put an effort to make you even advise you even?
even if I associate myself with this body, I can see that I'm not just this body. I'm not just this intellect, this memory, smriti. And even that iota of that aham, I, I, me, me. Where do that aham, that ego sense exist? I try to search for it from the nails till top. but I did not find it anywhere. But it's really wonder that still that comes and captures and does not allow me to go to myself. Anyway, all the five senses are continue to work as they are supposed to, even without this ahankara, this ego sense. So even if I negate it from everywhere, still there is no existence of this aham. Even if I see it in a positive way, sakaratmak bhavana se videke, still that self, that atma, the supreme consciousness, and this small little iota of ego sense that doesn't come even near. This aham, this ego sense wants to take the credit of all the activities that are actually performed by our five sense objects. And this ego says, I did it. I am the karta. I am the doer. But now that I realize I am that self-luminous self, Atma, neither, O oh mind, you are there, nor this Aham, I, I, is there. Neither this body is there, neither this mind is there, neither this eye is there. I am just a piece. Luka Samasta Sukino 
bhavantu loka samasta sukino bhavantu loka samasta sukhino bhavantu o shanti 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 become aware of your body ek sadharan saans andar le breath in and let go become aware of the surroundings apne vatavaran ke prati sajag ho jaye slowly and gradually whenever you feel complete you may open your eyes dheere dheere apni pyari si aankhe khol sakte ho jay gurudev so like this uddhalaka continue to contemplate all that knowledge that he could realize because of the practices and because of that power of discrimination viveka pragya hmm? with all that he is contemplating like this and he continue to think within himself and then ultimately he advise no it's own mind that you are not just the you don't exist why do you keep running here and there like this hmm? and ultimately in the end he takes a o oh, no now onwards my this body i do not have any affiliation towards it i'm not this body i'm not this mind i'm not this um ego i am that self luminous self i am that atma hmm? so you take a vow that whatever the actions that will happen now why am i i will not have any association any feverishness towards it it will just happen i see look at this body just as a dead body you no know, just like a sleeping body whether this body dies or whether this body exists or it doesn't exist or let it continue to exist like this i don't care it doesn't matter to me now i will just continue to perform all my action based on the prarabdha that sanchit karma just to finish them off i'll just continue to do my actions now now there is no sankalpa there is no that discrimination is there now there is no bhed bhavana that there is no that i and me you and me it is like this it is like that there is no acceptance there is no rejection in life now whatever it comes i am just that ultimate observer i am just that self luminous atma self chaitanya awareness 
it's just observing the things which are happening in my life just like that not getting entangled into any one of this like this continue to contemplate tomorrow we'll look after the 57 chapter where he will do the om dhyan no om kar ke upar he'll perform that that is something we will see tomorrow for today i would like to hand over this session to all of you please continue to express yourself if you have any question you can ask what are your takeaways from today's session you can express that anything else you would like to contribute you are welcome to do that as well over to you all jai gurudev the mute unmute option is now open over here you can unmute yourself Jai Gurudev. Jai Gurudev, Sangeeta Ji. That was so beautiful, you know. We were so deep in that Panchakosha, which meditation went went on, and after that contemplation, like Uda Lata has done. So that was very beautiful. And uh, <clears throat> my takeaway is that when he says, you know, like. Oh foolish mind! All these perished, being subjected to just one sense craving. That is, but one sense craving is what, just like the deer, as a sense of hearing, the bee by the sense of the smell, the moth by the sense of the sight, and the elephant by the sense of the touch, and the fish by the sense of the taste. a person that is he's telling he's contemplating now you are the victim to those five temptations and then how can you have that happiness within you isn't it and just like the silk worm he spins around itself in the cocoon and gets caught in it and you have woven the web of your own concepts so and i am part of that so it is our own concepts our own conditionings that is you know we are caught into that and if you can get rid of that again so attain the purity and overcome even the fear of life and death and thus attain to the total equanimity so that is again very important leave all that come out of the web of that what is that fear of that birth and death also and come into the equanimity and then you have achieved the greatest victory on the other hand if you cling to this ever changing phenomena called world you will surely perish in sorrow so if you if one is only clinging to this world ever changing phenomena which is called the world appearance then the result will be sorrow so that was very beautiful and i liked it very much and my take away is that and then one more is that ki if you investigate the truth you discover there is no such thing as called mind so there is no such thing but the mind is a product of ignorance till that ignorance is there it's going on and once the ignorance wears out the mind wears out too and hence you are the process of being worn out it is unwise and unful and foolish to instruct one who is in the process of disintegrating okay then wise men do not teach what must happen so that is what it is again contemplation takes you in that direction into the egoless infinite consciousness again it is the same thing and whatever is happening over here is because of the ego and then we will see how it goes on again tomorrow in the home this so that was a very beautiful one and really the way he was contemplating he could you know that mind itself is become so jyot swarup ki that it's giving the knowledge to him only but i can you see the change in the mind now the mind itself is become illumination 
So it's illuminating and giving him, reflecting him in his own mind. He can see all that. So that mirror, which is there, it's really cleaned up now so that he can see all that. It's very beautiful. We can also continue this and come back again and see the, the rest of that story with the own part. That will be also beautiful. Thank you very much for letting me express myself, Someshwati. And thank you all of you. Jai Guru Te. Jai Guru Sangeeta Ji, that was a very beautiful uh, takeaway. Anybody else would like to express themselves? You are welcome to unmute yourself and you can express. Jai Gurudev, Binaji Bodhi. Uh, am I audible? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Uh, so beautiful uh, meditation. And so appealing means like really. Uh, I could uh, easily distinguish between mind and uh, our uh, existence, you know. Actually, uh, what I understood uh, after uh, uh, going through all the knowledge and uh, what you have told just now, mm -hmm. that uh, it is the mind which plays and displays the things, you know, and uh, that is making the impressions on our soul and uh, that makes our karma. And uh, ultimately, the karma only we have to come to clear off. That is why Gurudev says, no, that uh, you must do the meditation. Why meditation we must do? To clear off the uh, impressions from our mind. Hmm. It is not, a, there is no mind uh, that no, no mind, John, will definitely will take you somewhere else. But it is a mind in between. You know, God is, uh, 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 you know, he is very uh, fun loving, you know. Uh, something must be put inside, no, so that we have to put effort, you know. Agar mind hi hoda, to all the problems uh, will be sorted out. We will be so calm and composed, you know. But the thing is that he has put the mind. Why? Be because, you know, mind will, is connected with the, all the six layers, you know, six layers, including the uh, body also. So the moment uh, you will understand it is the uh, actions of the mind, it is a play of the mind, then your memory also will be cleared off. Your um, uh, ego will also be cleared off. You know, everything will be taken care of only by taking care of the mind. So it is a pivotal point, you know, central point where you can uh, sort out all the problems, what I understood. Hmm. The moment you will uh, take care, you will become Sakshi. Sakshi Tubhav comes, the mind dissolves, you know. So th in this way, uh, you can, uh, again and again, you have to uh, become the Sakshi and uh, you just let the mind uh, uh, dissolve its identity. Actually, mind is nothing but the bundle of impressions, bundle of the, the impressions which we are taking from the outside world. But the moment you will go uh, inside and remain calm and composed, the outside waves of uh, 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 the, the, those worldly things will be dissolved and they won't affect you. What I understood. So that will take you in a samadhi. So uh, even in, with the open eyes also, you can uh, experience this. Many times when you are engrossed in uh, doing something, you know, so you will find a kind of meditation. It means there is no mind. So this mind is, uh, mm, uh, this concept of mind, uh, you know, when uh, Gurudev always used to say that uh, we should uh, dissolve the mind, dissolve the mind. You know, when did I come to know? After such a long, long period of time, after doing so many times, uh, brushing up of hollow and empty, hollow and empty, hollow and empty, you know. Then I, last, when Rishi Vidya Dajji's uh, advanced course I was doing, I came to know, oh my goodness, I have... I have to dissolve this uh, mind from this one. Earlier also, I became aware, but not 
consciously maybe uh, i was not aware uh, uh, so these are the things you know when the spark comes you know by guru's grace uh, then you should be ready to catch it that is uh, what i understood my personal experience i am saying such a beautiful experience thank you so much vinay ji for such a wonderful addition and contribution anybody else would like to contribute or you would like to speak express yourself you are welcome to do so if not then we'll take a pause so that we can meet tomorrow jai gurudev